Hi, my name is Sebastian Matteau and in this uh, short series of two videos I would like to show you how you can work with spreadsheet-like data objects in Python and how you can write those to disk and also how you can read them back from disk. So in the data fo formats that we're going to work with are CSV for comma-separated values, TSV for tab-separated values and XLSX for the, the Excel spreadsheet format. Um, and we're going to work with the Python libraries, data matrix and pandas data frame. So, and the data that we're going to work with, our toy data, is this uh, dictionary of Rocky movies. Going from Rocky, uh, released in 1976, to Creed II, released in 2018. Now, this dictionary is structured su such that the titles of the movies are the keys, right, on the left-hand side of the column, and the years of the movies are the values on the right-hand side of the column. And what we want to have is a spreadsheet where we have one column called title, with all the titles, and one column called year with all the years. That's basically what we want to do. So first things first, um, let's execute this code cell. So I click here on run code cell. Code cell is being separated by this code cell uh, separator here. Now you see that here in the Python console on the right hand side, the IPython window, we have executed uh, our, this code and now we have loaded this dictionary into memory. Okay, and you also see this here below in our Python workspace explorer, where you can see that we have a Rocky Movies object that has the, the, the data that we just loaded. So first things first, we're going to start with data matrix. Uh, and what we're going to do is transform this dictionary into a data matrix object. And a data matrix object is a very nice way to work with this kind of spreadsheet-like data. So how does that work? Well, first we need to import data matrix. So we say from data matrix, import data, oh, data matrix. And then we're going to create a new data matrix object. By consensus, I call it DM for data matrix. Up, data matrix. And then we specify a length already. So how long should it be? The length referring to the number of rows, not the number of columns. So how many rows should there be? Well, there should be as many rows as there are elements in the Rocky Movies Dictionary, right? So the DM, the length should be the length of the Rocky Movies Dictionary. And then we simply say, okay, we want to have a title column um, and what does the title column contain? Well, it contains up, it contains from the Rocky movies the keys. And this works, right? So it this will this very simple statement will create a new column called title and it will assign all the keys from the Rocky movies to that title column. And we can do the same thing for the year column is Rocky movies dot values. Now let's print it out to see that it works. Up, print DM. Execute this code cell. You see it works. Now we have a nice, in the output, we can see a nice representation of our data matrix object. The year column looks a little bit funky, but if we open it and we view it in our workspace explorer, you see that indeed our DM object has a column called title with all the titles and the years with all the years. Okay, so far so good. Let's close it again. Now the next step, and I will create a new code cell for that. Oh is to actually write this, uh, this data matrix object to a file. So how can we do that? First, we need to import something again. We need to import from data matrix, import IO. IO is the input output module of data matrix that contains the functions for writing things to disk and also reading things from disk. Um, and its use is very simple. So we can simply say io.write text. So not write CSV, but write text. And why? Well, because a CSV file is just a text file. What do we want to write? Well, the data matrix object, what do we want to write it to? Um, we want to write it to the uh, uh, DM rocky.csv, and that's it. So um, just before I execute this, I'm going to say run up change working directory to active files so that we're actually working, that we actually save the this CSV file in the active uh, that working directory. And now I say, okay, execute this. Up. And if I now show the file, we here we have the file browser. Here we have our newly created dmrocky.csv. If I open it, you see it's a standard uh, CSV file where the, the columns are separated by commas, right? We have one uh, row with the headers and the rest of the rows contain the data. Okay, now, um, if you, uh, let's duplicate this line. Some people prefer to actually not use commas, uh, separators, but to use, um, tabs or other characters. So to indicate that, I call this a TSV file for tab-separated values. And I say, okay, the delimiter 
the separator or the delimiter, so the character that separates the columns from each other, is actually going to be a slash t. And what is a slash t? A slash t is a tab. That's the Python representation for tab. Select this, run it. Now you see we have dmrocky.tsv. If I open it, you see it's the same kind of format as before, but now where there used to be commas, there are now uh, tabs. Right? Personally, I prefer tabs, actually. I always use comma-separated values rather than tab-separated values, if I can. But, you know, sometimes you have to work with software that actually gives you uh, TSV files or that expects TSV files. So it's convenient to know exactly how you can specify the limit. Now, and then we have our write xlsx function. It's, again, very simple. You simply say, okay, I want to write the data matrix uh, to dmrocky.xlsx. Select it, run it. Now, if I do this, you see that here we have a dmrocky.xlsx. I'm not going to open it, but if you would open this in LibreOffice or Excel, you would see it's just a very standard spreadsheet uh, that contains the data that we, uh, that we have written there. Okay, so now you've seen actually how you can create a data matrix object and how you can write that data matrix object to the most common formats, namely CSV, my recommended format, TSV, okay, and XLSX, if you have people who prefer to wor work with, uh, with Excel. And actually, XLSX is not even such a bad format. Now let's do the same thing, um, but with Pandas data frame. What is Pandas? Pandas is sort of the standard Python library for working with uh, tabular spreadsheet-like data, but it's a little bit heavier than data matrix, um, but it can do also much more. So first things first, we're going to create a data frame object, which is the Pandas equivalent of data matrix, and we have to import it. So we say import Pandas SPD. So what does this mean? It means we're going to import Pandas straight away, but we're going to give it a slightly different name, PD, instead of pandas, so that we don't have to type pandas all the time. This is, uh, this is a convention. A lot of people do this, right? Very often you will see, you won't see import pandas, but you will see import pandas as PD. And in other situations, for example, with NumPy, you will often see import NumPy as NP to make it shorter, or import Seaborn as SNS uh, for some reason, which I don't understand. There are these standard libraries where it's common to use an alias while importing, and pandas is one of those libraries. Okay, df is pd.dataframe. So we're going to create from our pandas object a data frame. How, how do we initialize a data frame? It's a little bit more complicated than a data matrix object. You, the easiest way is to specify a data dictionary. And the data dictionary needs to be in a specific format. Um, so I will create the dictionary data, and the way it should be structured for the data frame is that the keys of the, of the dictionary are actually the names of the columns. So title um, would be one key. And then the values are the values of that, uh, the values of that should go into that column. Now, what are those values? Those are from our Rocky movies, the uh, keys. However, um, this will not work because data frames doesn't know how to work with the keys object. So we need to explicitly convert it to a list so that we get a list of the keys. And now uh, pandas will understand how to work with this. For the, for the year column, it's almost the same, except that now we want to have the values and we call it year. Up. And now this data um, dictionary, which basically is a slightly reorganized version of our Rocky Movies dictionary here, uh, that's what we're going to use to initialize our data frame. And then we're going to print it out just so that you can see that this actually works. Oh. All right, so here we've printed it out. Um, title, year, right? Here we have our data frame in the Workspace Explorer. If you open it and view it, you see that the title and the year, it's just exactly the same as before, right? So this is one. Okay, let's close it. Now, uh, oh, let's create a new code cell to uh, actually write this to write the data frame object to a file. How does that work? Well, the data frame objects have an, a method called to CSV. So that's a function that is actually a part of the data frame object. How does that work? Well, you indicate the name df, uh, df rocky.csv and then basically you can just execute it. So I'll select it, run it, that works. But if I now open it, you will see it's actually not perfect. 
because to, at least to me this is not perfect because you will see that <laughs> the first the first column and I don't know why they why they did it like this the first column actually doesn't have a name right so it is an empty string followed by a column co comma and then the the and the values of that named uh, of that nameless column are actually the indices of the data. This to me is not ideal. Um, so I prefer to say index is false, and then uh, actually that that initial column will be omitted. So if I up, run it, I open it again, the F rocky. You see that now it actually has a more uh, a more usual format where we actually just have named columns, title and year, with values below it. Okay. Um, just like uh, before, you can also specify a delimiter, but pandas calls that a separator. But other than that, it's the same. So if I say df to csv, oh, select this separator, run. You see that we get a df rocky.tsv, which is the same as our dm rocky.tsv that we created before, with the commas replaced by tabs. Okay. And finally, we want to write it to a uh, xlsx file with two Excel function df rocky oh rocky dot uh, sorry excel is x up, index is false if i select this and execute it you will see that now we get a df rocky dot excel is x again i'm not going to open it but you have to trust me that if you open it in excel it will just look like a nice excel spreadsheet okay so what have we seen in this video we've seen how you can take a pretty standard data object a dictionary with some keys and some values how you can convert this to a data matrix object or to a pandas data frame object and the data matrix and a pandas data frame are quite similar to each other data matrix being a little bit more lightweight and we've seen how you can write the data matrix data matrix object to csv comma separated values tsv tab separated values and xlsx the excel spreadsheet format and we've seen the same thing for the data frame object okay um, so now we know how to create spreadsheet files and in the next video, we're going to see how you can read spreadsheet files from disk back into a Python object. Thank you very much for your attention.